I am Santosh Gadankar. Today I am explaining the principle of superposition over this problem. A bar having a cross section area 300 mm square A is given here. A is nothing but 300 mm square they have given it. Is subjected to an axial force as shown in the figure. Find the total elongation. We have to find out the delta L here of a bar where E is nothing but 84 into 10 raised to 3. Not in parallel square is given here. Now I will consider this everything will be in terms of sections. I will consider this is one and this is two and this is three. And I am going to check the equilibrium condition. Before checking the equilibrium condition, I will consider this side as a positive and this side as a negative. If the arrow indicate this side, I will write as a negative. If the arrow is indicate this side, I will write as a positive. It is an important one. Next, if the arrows are indicate in this direction, I will consider as a positive. If the arrows are in this direction, I will consider as a negative. It is nothing but tensile. It is a compressive. Now, I am going for checking the equilibrium condition. First, the arrow is this side 50 plus 80 minus 20 minus 10 is nothing but 0. It satisfies the equilibrium condition. Then I will consider this part, one part. Now already this direction is known, fix. With the help of this one, we come to know that it is also a tensile but in opposite direction but I will apply a different logic here this is the say, 80 in this direction 80 kilo Newton I write it here one more direction 20 kilo Newton write it here one more 10 write it here kilo Newton kilo Newton here the lengths are given here Sorry, I have not written the length here. 500 mm. One four double one four double zero mm. And this one is thousand. Thousand mm. The argument. Now this part the argument is 500 mm I will write 500 mm I will write this box here in this way it is already in this direction 50 kilo newton but here first I will write here the arrow is this side that means it is a positive 80 the arrow is opposite direction I will write as minus 20 the arrow is in opposite direction minus 10 the answer will be 50 kilo Newton but in positive direction the positive direction is direction of this direction I write it here that means it is a tensile positive next I will consider the second block now here I will bring this arrows here first 50 kilo Newton next 80 kilo Newton next 20 kilo Newton one more 10 kilo Newton now 1400 mm I will bring this box in this way First draw the box. Next, we don't know the arrows here. Now 50 is negative as per this direction. Minus 50 plus 80 is nothing but 30. Is nothing but 30. 30 kilo newton. But it is a positive. As it is positive the arrow of the positive is this direction I write it in this direction 
next the case is here as the arrow is this side and this arrow is this side minus 20 minus 10 it becomes what minus 30 minus 30 kilonewton but arrow should be as per this direction the arrow should be minus minus in this direction now it is nothing but compression third block now third block 50 kilonewton next 80 kilonewton next 20 kilonewton and this one is nothing but 10 this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 and this is nothing but 10 kilonewton 1000 mm now write the box go for resolving the forces here the arrow is this side this side is nothing but negative minus 50 plus 80 minus 20 is nothing but 10 positive 10 positive 10 is nothing but what positive indicate this direction write the arrow this direction 10 kilonewton next already it is in this direction but in minus but in minus now this is a 10 sign this is a compressive this is the compressive finding delta l1 is nothing but p1 l1 divided by ae p1 is nothing but what 50 kilonewton 50 kilonewton 50 into 10 raised to 3 length is 500 500 mm the length is 500 mm divided by area a is already is given here a is given here 300 mm write it here a 300 into angst modulus 84 into 10 raised to 3 you will get the value as 0 0.99 mm similarly delta 2 p2 l2 divided by ae P2 is nothing but but P2 is nothing but what uh, don't mention the negative sign here negative indicate the direction this side okay negative indicate direction this side as per this one now 30 Newton 30 into 10 raised to 3 into area is 1 4 uh, length is 1 4 double 0 divided by 300 into 84 into 10 raised to 3 the answer will be 1.667 mm delta 3 p3 l3 divided by ae p3 is nothing but what 10 10 into 10 raised to 3 into 1000 divided by 300 into 84 e to 10 raised to 3 the answer will be 0 0.396 mm 6 mm now total delta total delta is nothing but what first as per the diagram delta 1 is positive delta 2 delta 1 is positive minus delta 2 minus delta 3 as per this diagram this is a tensile compressive compressive if you substitute these values here you will get minus 1.073 mm this minus indicate reduction in the length of the bar i am santosh gandhkar thank you very much